Are you running out of ideas on how to get rid of all that clutter inside your refrigerator? Well, worry no more because today I'm going to share with you 10 tips to help you organize your ref. Store milk and other dairy products like eggs sa bottom shelf. Why? Because this is the coldest part of your fridge. Pag dito nyo nilagay sa gilid, like me, before, I used to do that, nilalagay ko sa gilid, di ba? Pag bukas natin, mas madaling kunin, yung temperature doon nagka-fluctuate. That's why sometimes you get spoiled milk o kaya yung mga eggs natin, sometimes hindi na siya okay. So, if you practice that, mas makakatipid kayo, di ba? Less rotten food or yung mga milk na napapanis, di ba? So, always also teach din yung mga relatives nyo, yung mga kasama sa bahay, na dapat i-store ng maayos yung mga dairy products. Next tip, practice the FIFO or first in, first out policy. So, how does it work? Kung ano yung nauna niyong binili, yun yung una niyong i-consume. So, like this one, I just bought this. So, dito yan sa likod. Okay? So, I have to consume this first dahil I bought this first. So, iwas yan para mabubulok yung mga items nyo. Iwas din sa over storage sa ref para nakikita nyo kung ano yung mga dapat nyo nang mainom. Like sa amin, minsan, nangyari yung ang dami ng mga milk na binuksan ng mga bata. So, dapat i-remind din sa mga tao sa bahay yung first in, first out. or your items. So, kunwari ito, I have my labeler here. This is mango jam. So, remember, galing to sa malaking container, transfer ko lang dito. And minsan, nasisira na rin yung mga label na nilagay natin. Ang nangyayari, di ba, nagkakaroon tayo ng rotten food or napapanis yung mga pagkain. Kasi nakakalimutan kung ano yun or hindi natin alam. Kung ano ba yung nakalagay sa container na yun. If people can see what's inside the con read what's inside the container, mas magagamit at mas maalala nila. So kung nareyan, that's my label, mango jam. Now, if you don't have a labeler like this, be resourceful. You can get a sticker sa mga bookstores or masking tape. Di ba, mango jam. Tapos, ganyan din nyo lang. And write it down there. See? Here. And here. Uh, and before I forget, you can also write the expiration date on top. So, kunwari ito, March 2020. for spreads and also juices or other drinks and you may also store your condiment sauces here sa fridge store. lahat ng fruits kailangan i-ref, like bananas, you cannot put it inside. And then, you can also use itong mga airtight containers for your green leafy vegetables. Or you can use reusable plastic bags. Meron din namang nabibiling like glass containers. Okay? Here naman are some veggies. Okay? Meron din kaming ito, mga iba pang mga containers. Dito yan. Tawag dyan yung 
itong parang drawer na to is yung crisper. Here naman for the freezer, you'd like to put all the ready-to-eat items o kaya food, like ice cream, sa top shelf. Okay? Now, you can also group similar items together. So, nandito ko na rin may poultry ka dyan, and then some seafood. But ideally, yung seafood, mas maganda, nandito po siya sa bottom shelf. But if you have a smaller freezer, pwede naman nandun siya sa ilalim. And you can also buy yung mga ganito. So, I bought this, yung mga ganyan na lalagyan. So, to create and save more space. It's like a caddy. Uh, you can buy that sa mga... Um, Japan home like that or kaya department store. So, ito lahat ng poultry nandyan. And then, I'd like to share with you something also that we do. So, kunwari ito, this is yung meat. So, I have ground meat here. But, when I buy it sa grocery, I tell the butcher na i-divide niya na. Kunwari into half kilo. Ganyan. Kasi, if I'll be needing like, kunwari, half kilo lang, eh, one kilo, I'll be... I need to defrost the entire thing. So, sayang naman ma, sisira yung quality ng food. Lalo na if you won't be needing it pa naman. So, basically, yun yung mga tips na masyashare ko sa inyo. And then, maybe um, some things to remember also. Huwag kalimutan na i-check maybe once a month yung linis ng ref. Check nyo, gumagana ba yung rubber niya. Diba? Okay pa ba siya? Kasi kapag sira yan, yung kuryente nyo, tataas, maapektuhan din. And then, make sure that you check all the items from time to time. Tingnan nyo, may mga expired na ba? Baka mayroong mga may sira na. And then, you may clean also the shelves of your ref with warm soapy water. Or if not, pwede rin pong gumamit ng baking soda para matanggal yung mga stains. Now, if you have a smelly ref, you can use baking soda or you can also use sa ating mga Pilipino, uli or charcoal. So, there you have it. Yun lang naman yung mga nag-work para sa amin sa ngayon. If you have other tips, just you may also share it with us.